Hey there guys, how's it going? It's Afraid Not, and I've got a lot of information to be going through with you guys today. But first, this is a Black Ops 2 gameplay, and I got it a little while ago. It's definitely not a recent one, and I think I kept it mainly for the final kill cam, so uh, <laughs> be sure to keep an eye out for that at the end. Anyway, let's get on to the first little bit of information. Now, for those of you who are interested in Call of Duty Ghosts, and I know that a lot of people who do follow this channel are interested in Ghosts still, um, but obviously, if you guys haven't heard already, the final DLC um, is, is called a Nemesis and it's coming out on August 5th for Xbox One and 360. I don't think there's a trailer out yet. Well, there might be by the time the video goes out, but I haven't actually seen the trailer yet. I've just seen a load of information. Obviously, all the sources and all my information will be linked in the description so you guys can obviously check it out for yourselves and it lets you guys know that I'm just not bullshitting you with any stories here. Um, but yeah, so Ghost Nemesis is coming out. I, yeah, I haven't bought a Mac pack in a little while, to be honest. I think I bought the first two. Didn't buy the last one. I, I, it's pretty going, really, because I really like Favela and I should have, you know, well, I say should have. I, I really, if I've said this before on many 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 occasions um, if these DLC maps come out on any other Call of Duty game apart from Call of Duty Ghosts I would really enjoy it I really would and it's just a shame that it's come out for such a well not my favorite card let's say that so <laughs> um, but one good thing that's coming with the Nemesis DV, uh, DV, I was about to say DVD DLC is that the map shipment from Call of Duty 4 is coming and that is a lot of fun I mean that's just a, it's a tiny 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 little map and uh, I, I don't think it was in the TDM uh, playlist so when if you guys ever if you you followed me back then when I was doing my Call of Duty 4 Road to Commander. We never come up against it. I, I played a couple of games of Domination and other game modes, but I never had shipment in it, so I'm pretty gutted about that, not really actually bringing that to my channel. Uh, but yeah, the shipment is a very, very fun map, and if you haven't played Call of Duty 4, in a way you could say it's a, it's a reason to get the newest DLC, especially if you're enjoying Ghost as well at the moment. Anyway, enough of the old news if you want to say. Let's talk a little bit about a little bit more about uh, Advanced Warfare. Now, the first little bit of information I've got, I don't know if you guys are really that interested in uh, is that it, the reveal trailer for Advanced Warfare was the most watched in Q2 2014. Uh, it had about 20 million views, and, and all that tells me, to be honest, is that it's still quite relevant. I know, uh, I know everyone keeps saying that COD's dying, this, that, and the other, but you know, it's still quite a relevant thing. It's either that, or there really hasn't been anything to watch on YouTube in the last in the last couple of months. And uh, but yeah, so like, it's got 20 million views. It was the most watched in Q2. You know, is Call of Duty dying? I don't know. You tell me. Let me know in the comments. See if you th let me know if you think Call of Duty is dying or if it's still going at a steady pace like it always has been and always will. Maybe I don't know. You know, I think there's a lot more things out there at the moment to be interested in. Obviously, Call of Duty seems to be the the biggest thing that everyone keeps talking about. And uh, another thing as well that I've got to talk about with Advanced Warfare. Unfortunately, they're really struggling to make it 1080p for the Xbox One yet again. Um, we all know that the PS4 got Call of Duty Ghost in 1080, and it does look and it does look different. I don't care what anyone says. A lot of people will argue with me and say, "Oh, it doesn't really look different." You know, 900p and 1080p, it does. It really does. I played them both, and it it looks so much more crisper and more clearer on the PS4. And yeah, so I, I think they're struggling again for next year. I think it's been confirmed that the PS4 will be 1080p. Uh, so that's unfortunate for you guys on Xbox One, and I say you guys, I think I'll probably be getting it on Xbox One at first, purely because of my friends, they all play Call of Duty and things like that, and it's nothing better than playing with friends, And uh, but yeah, so that's uh, a little bit of bad news for you Xbox guys, but good news for PS4 guys I suppose. And last, but by certainly not least, uh, it looks like that score streaks are returning, now that hasn't actually been confirmed, I haven't got a source for that, um, but I did notice in the reveal trailer they did show a 5 seconds or so of multiplayer footage in it, and here I froze the clip for you and um, if you look down here in the bottom right hand side of the corner you can see that you've got these score streaks like they have been over the last couple of years and they've got literally points like 500 or 600 now I don't think that's going to be a 500 kill streak or a 600 kill streak just to get what looks like a UAV or a or some kind of Vulcan thing whatever you know um, so it looks like score streaks will be returning and that is massive news I love score streaks I've always said that and I think if you go through loads of my old videos I've always said that score streaks is definitely the way forward it's the way that Call of Duty should do it period I'm, I was gutted that Call of Duty Ghost didn't have that and then they kind of brought in this t kind of hybrid system when they start giving you half points for stuff and that was nowhere near as good as what score streaks were so I'm so happy that this could be on the cards it looks like it is um, but obviously we can't say for sure they might come up with some totally new kill streak system which uh, could be fun but you know we'll see 
Anyway, winding down to the end of the video, I managed to pick up this sniper rifle, aim down, start jump in the air, and bang, headshot. Love it. And I think this is just why I kept the uh, <laughs> this video is literally just for that kill cam. It wasn't exactly the best sniper clip you've ever seen, but I was pretty proud of it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a rating, and yeah, have a good weekend, and I'll see you guys next week. Take care.